In this problem, we first off would like to uh, interpret in real world terms what this matrix tells us. Uh, we're told that this gives the female and male life expectancies, uh, which are the columns for United States, Slovakia, and Iraq rows. So basically we're saying here is the US, this row represents Slovakia, and this row represents Iraq, and these are ages of males and females respectively. Um, oh, excuse me, this is uh, opposite. These are female and male, and um, not a big surprise that this is the way it takes place, that the life expectancies are higher across the board for females. Um, and that's just something that's been historically the case. So uh, the first thing we want to do is create two three by one matrices from the uh, matrix given, explain what each represents. So I've already created them, I've created them in my calculator. Um, so basically we're taking this guy and we're, we're, we're sort of whoops, splitting it down the middle. And um, so what are we doing here? Well these are for US, Slovakia, and Iraq, these are the female ages of life expectancy. And then uh, over here in matrix B I created one where it has the male life expectancies for again US, Slovakia, and Iraq. Um, we want to find the difference between the two matrices, explain what the difference matrix gives in real world terms. So we're going to exit out of here and we'll just do, um, well we could do B minus A or A minus B, it doesn't really matter, we just have to make sure we're keeping track of what we're comparing to what. So I'll do, um, I'll do my, my females minus my males column, so I'll do A, um, excuse me, minus um, matrix B. And so that gives me 5, 8, and 2.8. Well, if I just look at this, that the diff that's just the difference in the life expectancies. So all across the board, in the US, uh, females have, have a life expectancy of five years more than males. In Slovakia, it's eight years more than males. And in Iraq, it's only 2.8 years more than males. So that's kind of an interesting comparison. I, I'm not really sure why that's the case, um, why these differences are so vast and different, but um, they are what they are. So now next thing we want to do is create two one by two matrices from the first two rows. So all we're doing is we're creating two, uh, I'm going to come over here and I'll just use C and D in case I need to reference the other two. So I'm going to create a one by two and so of the first two rows. So I'll have 80.8 and I will have 75.8. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing, but the, for the second row, and I'll create this in matrix D. And so this will be, again, a 1 by 2. And in here, I'll have 79.7, and I'll have 71.7. And so now the question is, um, well, we just created those. Now we want to find the difference between the matrices, explain what the difference matrix gives in real world terms. So I'm just going to take a second, and I'm going to write this out. So we're going to do 80.8 and 75.8 um, minus the matrix, the 1 by 2 matrix that contains 79.7 and 71.7. So, um, well, let's find the difference. Of course, we could probably just do this really quickly in our head, but um, we'll just go ahead and do C minus D. And uh, we get 1.1 and 4.1. Okay, well, what were these? This was the US matrix that contained female and male life expectancies. And this was the matrix for Slovakia that contained female and male life expectancies. So this value here is we get by subtracting these two values. And that's just how much longer peop, uh, females, uh, the, how much longer, how much greater, excuse me, the life expectancy of females is between US and Slovakia. So the life expectancy is 1.1 years greater for females in, Slovakia, uh, in, in the US. Same thing for males. Males live um, on average 4.1 years more uh, in the US than they do in Slovakia. Um, so next thing we want to do is we want to call the first matrix from part E U and the second matrix S. Find 1.02 U minus 1.03 S and then give a possible real world description of, this of, of what this matrix represents. So we will, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up my previous entry and come over here and just insert a 1.02. It's a quicker way to do it. And over here I'm going to insert a 1.03. And now when I hit enter, I've got it right there. So my matrix is 0 
uh, 3.4625. Well, there are a number of ways, uh, excuse me, just uh, 3.465. Then a number of ways to really explain this. Well, as we've kind of been doing, 1.02 means there's a, a, a growth in the life expectancy in US across the board for males and females. So basically we're taking this matrix and multiplying both of these values by 1.02. So for whatever reason there's roughly a 2% um, increase in the life expectancy for females and males in the US. Now over here for Slovakia there's a 3% growth um, for both females and males for whatever reason. And now this represents the difference between those after uh, the U.S. life expectancies go up by 2% and Slovakia life expectancies go up by 